Adobe Premiere Pro 24 update is now available and trust me, this update will change your life forever. So let's jump in to explore all of the new features. If you're new here, I create a video editing tutorials. So if you're interested, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Let's see what's new in the 24 update. One of the most exciting feature is the text-based editing option. You can access transcript by going to the Windows tab and selecting text. Once you do, it will automatically detect your audio and transcribe it in just a few seconds. The transcript feature display all of the text that you speak in your audio. Now if you select any text, it will also select the corresponding audio clips. You can delete the selected part by deleting the text. We also have a new filter option which includes a pause option. If you select it, it will automatically highlight all the pauses in your audio clip. You can also change the duration of pause by going to the filter and selecting search settings. In the transcript view, we have a minimum pause length that you can increase or decrease. If you increase it, it will only show the pauses that are longer. But if you decrease it to the minimum, it will show you almost every minor pause that you may have. You can delete the required pauses or delete it all at once by click on the delete button. But before, we have a extract and a lift buttons. Extract means when you delete a pause, the remaining audio clips will merge together with no extra space between them. But if you go with a lift, it will give you a space where the pause was located. So I will go with the extract one, just click on the delete button and there we are. This feature saves a lot of time by deleting all the pauses with just one click. Feature number two, saving project as a template. This feature is a real time saver as it allows you to save your project as a template and use it whenever you want. For instance, if you have a set of folders containing assets, sound effects and backgrounds that you use in almost every project, you don't need to import them in a Premiere Pro again and again. Instead, you can use the save as template option located in a file menu to save your project as a template with any name. Later on, when you open up your new project, you can select a template from the list of save template under a project template and it will automatically set everything for you in seconds. This feature is especially useful when you need to use the same assets daily. By the way, this amazing template is from Inventive Element, our today's sponsor, which provides an amazing collection of video templates and a vast library of video assets for all types of softwares. With just single subscription, you can download an unlimited number of video templates including transitions, openers, promos, titles, and much more. Inventive Element also provides a wide range of software for which you can select templates. Additionally, you can also download stock video music, sound effects, graphics, and many other valuable assets. Check out Inveto Element, link in the description below for more information. There is a new feature called Enhanced Speech that is still in beta but will be available soon in 24 update. To use it, open Essential Sound panel in the Windows menu. The 24 update also comes with the auto tagging option that detects the properties of your audio track. Once you click on it, a dialog box will be appear. And you will see the enhance speech menu with the enhance button. Click on it and it will automatically improve the quality of your audio and make your voice sound better. You can also use the mix slider to adjust the balance between the original clip and the enhanced audio. Here are some more new features of Adobe Premiere Pro 24 update. Adobe claims that the new update is five times faster with a high performance timeline drawing that is more interactive and responsive make editing and trimming smooth and easy. In my experience, I have found this to be true. Premiere Pro crashing is no longer a problem as the new update allows you to recover your project instantly. If your project crash, simply reopen Premiere Pro and a red pop-up will be appear offering to recover your entire project. However, if you want to revert to the last saved version, go to the file and click on reverse. Another exciting feature is the addition of color setting tab in Alumetri color. You can now adjust various settings such as gamma, 
auto detect log footage and an input LED for the source clip directly in Lumetri color. This is a handy feature that makes color adjustment easier and more convenient. So yeah, that's everything about Adobe Premiere Pro 24 update. You can check out Adobe's blog post which includes all the new feature. The link is mentioned in the description below. I hope you find it informative. Please let me know which feature in the 24 update is your favorite one. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing content. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.